At the close of March 1264, London was in the hands of Simon de Montfort's rebel forces. As they prepared for war, all men of London, over the age of 12, gathered before their aldermen to swear an oath to support the Baron's cause. An oath that would lead many to their death. We will unite ourselves against all people who would wish to harm us wrongfully. And we will make no peace in these things without common accord. And from this hour forward, we will hold together in all rightful quarrels and save and maintain our liberties and customs against all of those who would wish to do us violence, saving our faith to the King in all things. On the 14th of May, on these hills, those same men of London took the brunt of Prince Edward's punishing cavalry charge. Their lines broke and they fled from the battlefield. Prince Edward and his cavalry in pursuit. Come on, come on this way. Shh. Lord preserve us, Lord preserve us. God have mercy, come on. Damn those horses. They'll chase us all day. I promised your mother I'd bring you home in one piece. And heaven help me, I will. <laughs> it's a shoulder, isn't it? I've got to stop the bleeding. Damn Prince Edward. He's had his fun. He slices to bits on the battlefield, now let us be. Oh, there were too many of them. Too many swords, too many horses. I know Neddy wants to watch us scream and cry for mercy. But why did we do it? We will unite ourselves against all people who would wish to harm us wrongfully and will show no peace before... Oh, shh, <laughs> you brave old man. Of course we followed the Lord Simon. We swore our oath and we kept to it. So don't you fret. Community of the realm. That's what we're fighting for. For our rights and our liberties. Without them... We are nothing but beasts. Come on. We can't stay here. They'll find us in a trice. <laughs> Put your arm over here. That's it. That's it. Come on. We'll get under the shelter of the trees and find a place to hide. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. You can rest now. Oh. oh, Ned, why did we anger the young Lord Edward? He's lusting for our blood now. And you know why? It's on account of us insulting his mother, the Queen. Do you remember, Ned? He was standing at my side. And I reckon you were edge shorter last summer. Because I had to lift you up on my shoulders so you could see over the heads of the crowds. <laughs> Fleeing the city she was with the king left behind in the Tower of London. <laughs> oh, we had so fun. Throwing eggs and stones and Lord knows what else she floated by. You threw a pebble yourself. And you shattered till your lungs all but burst. And now Lord Edward, he'd kill every last one of us if he can. Even you. Named after him. Because your mother wanted you to grow that big and strong. And you are big and strong. Just as she turned off. And now I need you to be brave. While I bind up your wound without you making a sound. Oh, Lord Edward's men will come and finish off what they began. Do you hear me, Ned? Shh, yeah, And then when it's dark, we'll slip away. Oh, take pity on us. 
and give us shelter. The Lord will protect us. You'll see. There is no record of how many Londoners died fleeing Edward's troops. We're told that some attempted to escape across the South Downs, while many more were cut down as they struggled through the marshes which lined the River Ouse, desperately trying to get onto the road back to London. Most of these bodies have never been found. <laughs>